What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have a very special review for you guys. We're going to be reviewing these custom belts that I have made for Undisputed Brotherhood. I am not completely finished. I'm going to show you the first four that I have completed. I have yet to complete um, two more singles titles and then the tag team belts for each brand. But if you know Undisputed Brotherhood, he has his pick fed UWF. He hit me up and he wanted me to make him some custom WWE figure belts for his pick fed so I have four of them here today the two main titles we have both main titles for Raw and Smackdown and then we have two mid card titles complete for both so I'm going to take you through them we have four of them total so let's go ahead and get into the first one so the first title we have right here is the main championship for Monday Night Raw for UWF it is the winged eagle used as the base right here and what we have is he wanted it to be called the Grand Championship. So what the idea was is I told him we could go in, color over the world logo right there in black. I'll come back with gold and paint a G in there. And then I added some silver and black to the side plates and the main plate. As you see, the wings on the, me the main plate are silver. We filled in uh, this top part with silver. I added some silver over here and down here. Filled in this down here. I may add champion right here on the bottom line. I'm not sure yet. And I may add grand to that little one there or up there. I'm not sure yet. I need to find a smaller brush to be able to do that. And I may come back with some gold to add to the side plates because it may look a little weird. But here's the uh, first one. We got the grand champion championship for Monday Night Raw. The next championship we have right here, guys, is the Canadian Championship. Obviously, the uh, opposite of the United States Championship. If you know Undisputed Brotherhood, TJ is from Canada. So what we did was instead of having the United States Championship, we used that as the base. And I came in and painted over the United States flag with the Canadian flag. As you see, the maple leaf there. You got the red and white stripes. And I really dig this idea. We got this idea from Burnout Inc. So huge shout out to Chase from Burnout Inc. You know, he had the Canadian United States Championship or the United States Canadian Championship or something like that and um, that is what the inspiration behind this was we uh, sort of copied his side plates or at least for the Canada side you know it kind of looks like small Canadian flags here and then we added some red details but huge shout out to Burnout Inc for this idea um, I painted over the WWE logo shaved it off put UWF there for TJ and then I had to come in and sculpt over the uh, the part where it said United States Champion and then I just painted Canada on there I may come back and paint over that and redo it just to center it up just a little bit. But I love the way this looks. This may be my favorite title out of the bunch so far. But I'm really digging this and I hope that uh, TJ loves it as well. But yes, this is the mid-card title for Monday Night Raw. The next championship we have, guys, is the mid-card championship for SmackDown Live. And this is the X Division Championship, I believe is what TJ wanted to call it. And as you see here, it is in the shape of an X. We use the NXT Championship as the base. Obviously, you can tell it's got the wide strap. What I did here was I came in and cut some indentions in there. So when it folds over, you just see the uh, X there. And then I shaved off the NXT or the N and the T part. Came in with some sculpt and sculpted over so it would look cleaner. And then painted the X blue and then did an outline in silver. Kept the WWE logos on the side plates. I may come in and shave those off, but it's not a huge deal. I think TJ still liked it, but um, this title looks a lot better now. I cleaned it up a lot, and I am totally feeling the way it is. I don't know if this is supposed to be a cruiserweight division or what he exactly had planned. You'll have to run that by him, but I am uh, excited to see what he is going to do with this championship. And I'm glad and happy with the way it turned out in its final product. The last championship we have for this video today, guys, is the UWF Championship. It is the big gold as the base. And when he told me he wanted black main plates and stuff, I was kind of worried of how it would turn out. But uh, we played around with some designs, and I think this looks absolutely sick, especially with the sealer on there. It's still got shiny on there, so it's like black shiny metal. And then on the black strap with the gold jewels, and then I painted UWF on the main plate. Added some gold details at the top. And then on the side plates as well, added the little states or countries on the world logo. And I'm really digging the way this looks. I think this is going to be a very prestigious title on UWF. Can't wait to see um, who brings this thing home. I'm not exactly sure when he said he was going to debut these titles, but I cannot wait to see my finished work on his shows. I uh, This is probably, besides the Canada title, this is probably my favorite. I just love how clean it looks. It's very nice. So that is pretty much all of the titles we have for today. 
So here we have all four titles in their glory, guys, all together. Let me know down in the comment section below which ones you find the best designed. Which one do you guys like the best? Let me know if you like all of these designs or not. Which ones could use some work and all of that good jazz? I also remember we have two tag team title sets and two more mid-card titles to do for this set before I send them off to UWF. But um, if you guys would like to commission your own uh, WWE championships for your hand feds, your pick feds, let me know. Hit me up in my DMs. You must have PayPal. That is one of the requirements. And you must send your own title belts to me as the basis. I'm not going to be using my own championship belts for your customs. So you will need PayPal and you will need your own title belts to send to me to work on. Uh, let me know your ideas, all that jazz. Maybe we can work out a deal. I also may do some trades with that. If you don't want to give me money, you can obviously give me some figures that I'm looking for. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this behind-the-scenes look at some WWE Championship custom belts that I have made. Um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.